Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we are going to do an interesting activity to understand and learn about patterns. But before starting with this activity, let me tell you that we have made many more maths art integrated activities, projects and working models on our channel Learning Notebook. You can find the list of all such videos on our website as well. The link to our website is below in the description box. For this activity, we need one white A3 sheet, a ruler, a black marker pen, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a matchbox and a bottle of glue. Students, this activity is best if you want to make a chart on patterns. So, aim of this art integrated project is to understand what are patterns and then make beautiful patterns using matchsticks. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. First, let's understand patterns. Students, to understand patterns, Let's take few examples from our surroundings. First, look at the leaves on a branch. Second, look at the petals of a flower. Then, look at the fence around your house. Fourth, look at the bricks arranged in a wall. All these Follow certain pattern. So, what is pattern? Pattern is repeated arrangement of shapes, numbers, colors and so on. Students, we would like to tell you that we have made videos on every chapter from class 1 to class 10 mathematics. We also have interesting maths quizzes, worksheets, working models, activities and projects on each chapter. So I would suggest you to check out our channel Learning Notebook. Now let's start with our activity. Take the white A3 sheet and write the heading Patterns on A. Now let's start with our first pattern. Take one matchstick and paste it in the sleeping position as shown here. Then take the second matchstick and paste it in the standing position as you can see here. Now we will paste the third matchstick in sleeping position again. And then the next matchstick in standing position. So now students, can you identify this pattern? Yes, this pattern is 1. Sleeping matchstick. 2. Standing matchstick. So we will follow this pattern as sleeping matchstick, standing matchstick. So in this blank, you are going to paste 1. Sleeping matchstick and then one standing matchstick. Now let's make second pattern. First, paste three matchsticks in the form of a triangle as you can see here. Then again, paste three matchsticks but this time in the form of an inverted triangle. Now, form another triangle with the help of three matchsticks and then one more inverted triangle. So, here you can see the pattern as one triangle, then inverted triangle, third one triangle and then inverted triangle again. So, in these two blanks, 
you are going to form one triangle and then inverted triangle now let's move to third pattern this time start with two match sticks in standing position next paste two match sticks in sleeping position now again paste two match sticks in standing position and after that two match sticks in sleeping position now students you have to identify the pattern here and fill these two blanks so the pattern here is two standing match sticks and two sleeping match sticks then two standing match sticks and then two sleeping match sticks so in the first blank there would be two standing match sticks and then in the second blank we will paste two sleeping match sticks now let's make fourth pattern first paste one match stick second paste two match sticks next paste three match sticks and then paste four match sticks so here students can you identify any pattern yes here we can see that there is no change in the position of the match sticks but there is a change in the number of the match sticks first we have only one match stick then two then three and then four so it means number of match sticks are being increased by one every time so in the first blank we are going to paste how many match sticks yes five match sticks and in the second blank we will paste six match sticks now let's see our fifth pattern first paste two match sticks in slanting upward position then paste two match stick in slanting downward position then again paste two match sticks in slanting upward position and then paste two match sticks in slanting downward position so here we can identify the pattern as two upward position slanting match sticks then two downward position slanting match sticks then again two upward position slanting match sticks and then two downward position slanting match sticks so in the same way we are going to fill these two blanks in the first blank we are going to paste two upward position slanting match sticks and in the second blank we are going to paste two downward position slanting match stick now let's make the last pattern first form a square using four match sticks and then paste a match stick in the middle of this square pointing to the top left corner as shown here next again form a square using four match sticks but this time paste the middle match stick in such a way that it points to the top right corner as you can see here now in the third position again we are going to form a square and this time 
paste the match stick pointing towards the bottom right corner so here students let's identify this pattern position of the four match sticks which form the square remains the same in all these three you can see that four match sticks which are forming the square they are in the same position there is no change in their positions but the match stick which is in the middle of these squares that match stick is rotating like the needle of the clock that is clockwise so students in the first blank after forming the square paste the match stick in the middle pointing to the bottom left corner and then in the second blank the middle match stick will move to the top left corner so students this is our activity on patterns now if you are a teacher this activity will help you to teach students the concept of patterns in a fun way and if you are a student you can use this to create a pattern chart and then you can also use your creativity and make more patterns using matrices so this is the end of our video do share my videos further with your friends and family thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye